We were blessed with, with very special people, and John Henry was one of them. I learned a lot about courage from John Henry because when he was blacklisted, and I was in New York City with him, when he received a call from Ed Sullivan saying, Johnny, I can't have you on my, my show because Aware Incorporated says that you have entertained groups that include communists. Orson Bean was with him too and got the same message. Orson Bean paid Aware Incorporated to investigate him. Excuse me? John Henry's talking to us. He always always wants to get into the he act. He said, thanks for that story. Okay. So like you said you were on Orson Bean. Okay, Orson Bean. And uh, Bean paid Aware Incorporated to investigate him, and they cleared him, and he went on Sullivan's show. John Henry said, well, you can go to hell. I'm not a communist. He was the most patriotic man I've ever known. But that was the end of his career in television uh, for all practical purposes. Of course, he, he did sue Aware Incorporated, and six years later, I think, uh, received, a, won the case, I think, $3 million. Never collected that much, maybe $17,000. But it passed on t t from New York down here to Austin. Uh, the uh, John Henry used to be on my television show. And whenever he was, we'd get calls saying, what are you having that damn communist on your show for? Uh, a prominent Austin doctor uh, put out a letter uh, accusing me and other friends of John Henry for consorting with communists. And uh, there was no real haven for him until after that case. There's still people that I encountered who say, was he really a communist? And uh, it was, it covered America like a, like a giant scab. But the pus kept oozing out all over the world.